Hi, this is Zach Mir with the US Penny Stock Highlights for Monday the 17th of August. Starting off with Clovis Oncology, where uh, we've got a slightly different setup from usual. We've obviously bounced off the uh, floor of this uh, broadening triangle there, around the uh, $4.70 $4 area. Uh, but it's the old uh, April support around uh, 550 which is the, uh, perhaps key today. And if they close above that, we should be on our way towards the uh, appointed target over the next few weeks up to the top of the triangle at uh, $9. Uh, obviously, resistance of the 50-day line at 640 and the 200-day uh, line at $7.80. But uh, the overall picture could be up to uh, uh, the $9 area. Uh, next up is stock, which I uh, don't think I've looked at uh, uh, before. Uh, here we've got a situation where we've broken uh, recent neckline resistance from July and uh, early August. So that's uh, namely at uh, $3.12. Uh, above that, on an end-of-day close basis, hopefully today, uh, we should head higher and we could head as high as the top of the rising trend channel on the daily chart from January uh, through $5. And perhaps we hit that by the end of next month. Uh, another new name uh, for this uh, particular uh, selection is uh, Clear Own or Clear One perhaps, but Clear Own looks like the most likely uh, uh, name for the company. Here we've broken a post-May uh, triangle there, broken it at $2.68 and uh, while we're above that looking for a top of uh, February price channel uh, at as high as uh, $4.00. 20 or a little bit more time frame on that the next four to six weeks uh, obviously the way the shares are going at the moment it looks as though uh, we could get there much sooner uh, at this stage only really back below the 50-day line and the uptrend line from may uh, around two dollars 27 really delays uh, the upside scenario for clear clear own on to uh, a stock which uh, maybe is not quite in the same uh, league but uh, well worth having a look at at the moment uh, Flexible solutions here. We've gapped up today uh, quite nicely within that rising trend channel from January. Uh, the message at the moment is that while we're above the floor of the gap around uh, the $2.63 uh, uh, level, uh, on an end of day close basis, we could head higher and as high as the top of that channel from the beginning of the year up uh, around the $3.80 level, hopefully hitting that over the next two to four weeks. Uh, stock which uh, I always like the I like the look at it all uh, right from the start the first time I looked at it uh, Lifeway Foods uh, here uh, if the chart comes through you can see that uh, the shares have powered ahead uh, in quite a spectacular fashion interesting that there was no gap we've broken uh, the old peak uh, from uh, back in uh, in uh, June last year around four dollars seventy five and above that looking for a target as high as uh, I suppose that's five dollars ninety or so over the next few sessions. You can see the shares rushing around at the moment. If you're an optimist and you want to see a perhaps a bigger target there, uh, the next level up after the uh, five eighty area would be uh, a pa an upper parallel heading towards eight dollars sixty five. But uh, uh, maybe that's uh, for another time. At least here, while we're above uh, the four dollar eighty or seventy five dollar uh, seventy five area then uh, the upside to six dollars is the initial uh, or towards six dollars is the initial target there for lifeway foods uh, new stock now uh, and it's uh, here in the form of uh, la jolla pharmaceuticals uh, here we got a situation where the uh, shares have just broken out of that uh, falling wedge with a gap so that sort of uh, gives it more cr uh, credibility so above four dollars on an end of day close basis today we should be heading higher. Initial target there at the 50-day line, just under $4.5. Uh, but the big picture target uh, to be hit perhaps as soon as the end of next month would be up to $7 at the top of that broadening uh, triangle from the end of May. So quite a strong situation there shaping up. On to uh, Pui uh, Wealth Management. And uh, here we've got... Uh, uh, situation where uh, at the end of last week we saw the shares break out of that or break that resistance line that triangle from the middle of June uh, versus the uh, three dollars thirteen level uh, above that obviously we are looking quite bullish end of day close today above the rising fifty day moving average at three dollars eighty six would uh, cement the idea that the stock is going to head higher back towards the main resistance on the daily chart uh, from early July at six dollars plus. Hopefully see that over the next two to four weeks. 
specific ethanol is next and uh, as uh, regular viewers might uh, remember this is a stock which I like the sound of uh, again the first time I saw it a uh, bit of uh, a, a, a sort of dance either side of that resistance line there from uh, May that resistance line at 380 so we've had uh, a couple of end of day closes above it and a couple of end of day closes below it probably one can say below at least while we're above uh, the floor of the recent flag at three dollars thirty three we should be heading higher and uh, heading higher up towards the uh, the uh, five ninety or six dollar area at that march uh, uh, resistance line projection and that could be seen over the next uh, four to six weeks on to a stock which uh, i don't think i've covered before but uh, all newcomers are obviously welcome here kumu uh, corporation uh, beautiful consolidation here, sort of a U-shaped uh, uh, consolidation that we've had, uh, just approaching the, that uh, peak from uh, uh, last month, around five dollars fifty. End of day close through five fifty, and we could see the shares at the top of the rising trend channel uh, on the daily chart from uh, back in uh, well, basically July last year, heading for seven dollars. So above uh, break of five fifty could take us up to. Seven dollars uh, stop loss at the moment uh, back at five dollars, which is uh, recent neckline resistance for the shares. Last stock of the day is uh, one that um, uh, is certainly uh, looking quite sprightly. Uh, Rise Education living up to its name, nearly at the uh, initial target there. Uh, that uh, top of that broadening triangle at uh, six dollars uh, sixty. Uh, so uh, perhaps seeing that today or tomorrow. Uh, if you are a fan of this situation and want to know uh, how much further the shares could go, perhaps uh, $9 could be the target there at that uh, uh, old November resistance line projection. Uh, at this stage, uh, uh, really, while we're above, I suppose the, the, the stop loss area would probably be the uh, resistance on the way down, which is 564. So the whole bull argument here uh, remains intact while we hold above that old uh, peak from early March on Rise Education. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.